Ghost. I love this shit. There it is, the book from the library. Cool. Got it. All right, cool. The Kingdom of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. This looks ancient, pre-collapse for sure. A number of pages are marked in the margins, likely to easily find them. Hmm. Even if one of the marked pages contains the quote I need, there's too much text. I'll need more to go on. Maybe someone who had regular contact with Leonard would know the quote if they saw it. Uh -huh. okay. Alright, now we need to head to the canteen. First canteen. Definitely. Apparently it's to a family road. What the? Hey, hey real. Hey there, real. Apparently we need to show this book to the worker there. Let's see why. This guy. Hey, I got something to show you. Okay. Have a look at these marked pages. Does anything remind you of things Leonard used to say? Hmm. Give me a minute, will you? Sure. Here, the sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. Leonard used to say that whenever I was late for work. Hmm. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. All right, cool. All right, let's head. Uh, we need to head back to Pass. Uh, I think that's this way. Plus library. All right, let's get the book back to the old man. The kingdom of God. A number of pages. Okay. There you are. Here's your book back. I got what I needed from it. Thank you. Cool. Oh, this guy. All right, now let's go talk to Rawl. Hello, Rolf. Hey, look, I'm pretty busy here. Not really a good time to talk. This can't wait. You heard about your brother, right? It's a small town, what do you think? Hmm. Sorry about your loss, but I really need to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. I don't believe this. You have something for me, Rolf? I guess so. You know, you're the last person I was expecting. 
Was my brother a police informant? Uh, yeah. We were building a case, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. <laughs> You're totally lying Shit. to your teeth, buddy. That's crazy. Wait here, I'll be right back. You're totally lying to your teeth, aren't you? Here. Now go bury the bastard that killed my brother. I'll do my very best. Alright, cool. Gus hat things there. Alright. All right. Got rid of the note. No need to hold on to that. Yeah. Alright. Let's open that package then. Let's see here. All right, well, we got it. There was an audio tape and a few documents inside. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the documents. These look like surveillance reports. It seems that Leonard was investigating Carl, Katerina, and Maya. Hmm. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mamir Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities. Okay. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tape recordings. Maybe they can offer some other clue to the killer. Maybe can. I need to figure out some way to play that tape. Well, we know where to go to do that. We have to head back to the museum. Uh. Uh. Yeah. yeah, we need to head back to the museum. Head back to the uh, hidden room in the museum to be precise. This way. All right, museum should be yeah here. Right. There's the hidden room. Let's go in there. We need to put that tape in the audio station. Get it found. There we go. This tape is in pretty bad shape. But I might be able to do something with this machine here. Hmm. All right. All right. Looks like the machine has analyzed the tape. Maybe I can reduce some or all of this noise. Yeah. Oh boy, this this fun shit. Yeah. This fun shit. All right. Now. Uh, what are we supposed to do it here? Use the yellow markers to find parts of the other track that are big enough and only contain a single sound. Okay. I have no idea what they want me to do here. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what they want me to do here. Okay, I have no idea what they want me to do here. This is just so freaking annoying. Okay. I know what they want me to do here. This is just so annoying. That's the fourth button. Um, I'm sorry, but I just don't know what you want me to do here. Okay. Quick to enlarge, choose the yellow markers to find.
Um, I have no idea. I hate puzzles like this. I have no idea. Ugh, I hate this puzzle. Okay. Day three. Okay, first use the two yellow sliders to isolate small portion thinning of just the rain. Then press the button with the X on it to filter out all the rain. Oh, okay. I need to filter out the That's not it. No. Uh, let's uh, rewind that to the beginning. Let's put this back here. Okay, I need to filter out just. Or use it to access my getting just the rain. Uh, okay, the beginning of the rain then. So we need to right there and uh, filter that. There are two small frequency. Oh, can't filter on. God damn. There we go. Ah. There we go. All right. So I filtered out the rain now. Okay, so now we need to... This is back here. Okay, now I need to filter out the rain. All right. The wind. Noise pattern successfully filtered. All right, cool. Then filter out the metal clank. Okay. Metal 
that'll climb. Alright, that's a little bit trickier then. It'll climb. Alright. Best kind of successful filtered. Alright, cool. Now Okay, I'm hoping I'm figuring this out correctly. Alright, let's uh, go back to the beginning. Last filter up the thunder. Okay, filter out the thunder. Got it. Noise power successfully filtered. Okay, cool. Can we, uh... <laughs> Okay, so now we need to tap the speaker button to amplify the voices. There we go. I can't shake the feeling that someone is onto us. There we go. We've been careful. You're imagining things, Carl. <sighs> Maybe. I can't wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family. Me either, my love. Me either. Did you get the package? Yes. Had a look inside. CPUs, neural cores, major third-degree violations. I don't like it any more than you do, but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while. Hmm. Fuck, Cap... Mel, it's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we're terrorists now. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. Yeah, I... <sighs> Things used to be so simple around here. I hate to break it to you, but you're all dead. <laughs> so it wasn't... Okay, let's exit that. Interesting. If only I knew where it was recorded. It's pretty obvious. The chimes, you know, we all know where those chimes are. Alright, let's head up. Let's head back to the uh, town square. And then head to the shopping district where the chimes are. Oh, those must be the chimes I heard on Leonard's tape. Yep. That means Carl and Katerina were here when they were recorded. I should have a look around. Yes, you should. Let's check this bench. Hmm. I wonder. There's something taped here under the bench. Uh-huh. A tape recorder. This must be what Leonard used to record Carl and Katarina. There's still a tape inside. Interesting. All right, cool. Uh... Crap, looks like the recorder is busted. I'll just ditch it and keep the tape. All right, well, we can head back to the uh, secret place and play that tape recorder, that tape that we found. Head back to the museum. Uh. Okay, why is Dina trying to kill us? All right. I'm sure we'll find out, but. Uh. All right, let's play this on the tape recorder. Let me worry about Carl. I'll find a way to make him see the value of our cause. He's a liability, Katarina. It's only a matter of time before he figures out our true plans for the vessel. Whoa. Maya, just don't call our child that. What? Vessel? But that's exactly what it is. A vessel for Holdra. What's Holdra? Don't get emotionally attached. We must put our own selfish desires aside. Oh boy. How many children can she not save? How much suffering can she not end? Uh-huh. I know, Master, it's just hard. 
What if something went wrong? What if this is all for nothing? You need to have faith, sister. Ever since I was little, I have sung to the tune of these machines. Now, is your wrist implant working as expected? Whoa. I think so. Doesn't itch anymore, at least. I'll run a diagnostic later. I also put in a little surprise. Let me guess, a bomb? Is that sarcasm? It doesn't befit you. No, a fake biometric signature. Whoa. Oh, for the city trench coats? Why would one of them ever come to Nordsend? It's just precaution. We won't remain here forever. I haven't gotten us this far by avoiding contingencies, have I? I suppose not. Whoa. She lied to us. Katarina played me good. She is one of them. I must go and confront her. Yes, you should. I was head there. Uh, that bitch played us. Time to confront her. Time to. Oh, that's the junk key. I think that's the way. Yeah, I got something to say to you. What the hell? She's not there. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Same here, but I'll be careful. I promise. Mm -hmm. If you say so, honey. Okay, why are we still talking to our dead boyfriend? The hell? Katarina? Huh? If someone is there, show yourself. That's just weird. Strange. Yeah, it is strange. Hey, Katarina. Wake up. Shit. Her pulse is extremely weak. Maybe her arm is worse off than it looks. I need to go get help. Yeah, you do. From what I can gather, some kind of brain trauma has put her in a comatose state. Mm. Damn. Can you determine the extent of the damage? Difficult to say. Which is typical for most brain injuries. She could wake up in five minutes. She may never wake up at all. What could have caused it? Could someone have done it to her? It's theoretically possible that she suffered a stroke, but her symptoms are eerily similar to victims of sophisticated interrogation techniques. Interrogation techniques? Like what? I'm no neurologist or nanoengineer, but from what I learned in medical school, there are advanced torture devices and energy-based weapons that can cause symptoms like this. All of them illegal, of course. Right. Your colleagues at the Bureau may have more information about the subject. I see. I will consult my contact here in Nordsend. Perhaps she has some knowledge on the matter. Very well. I will remain here overnight and monitor this woman's vitals. Mm. Good. Thank you, Doctor. Stay frosty, Gabriel. Whoever did this to Katarina may decide to come back. Yeah. I'll try, ma'am. Be careful out there. You run is drawing near. You run. You didn't hear? The storm. That's what people are calling it. Oh. Must be a big one. Okay. What the hell is going hmm. on? No Stina. Yeah. It's Stina's scarf. Yeah, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the? Fuck. Stina! What the hell? Sorry, kid. Can't let you stand in my way. Can't let you stand in your way about what? what? Why? What the fuck? Okay, what's going on? Damn it. Why'd you have to get so close? What is going on? What? 
What is going on? Okay. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. Hold on, darling. I've got this. You do. Uh. <coughs> Why the hell did she do that? Damn. The strain on my blue to keep me alive must have knocked out the ox. I've never felt this cold. I need to find a way to heat myself up before I get hypothermia. Yes, you do. God damn it, so... Stina was the bad guy all along. But why? What did she... Why? Well... We'll have to find out next time. Anyway... After that crazy revelation, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Whispers of a Machine. Stay tuned for your channel's place. Don't forget to flash script, Com leave comments, click that bell, and subscribe, and keep it moving to this upload. And I will see you next time when we figure out what the hell is going on. For now, bye bye.